Hey guys, it's Monday. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Let's go fly. Warning, many visitors have been gored by buffalo. These animals may appear tame, but are wild, unpredictable, and dangerous. Do not approach buffalo. So we were kind of absent last week, except for Kevin. And of course, Kevin, you know you win the special thespian MVP award, which isn't nothing. Actually, it is nothing. <laughs> Congratulations on your job, Mary. So happy for you. And you are really close to me. I could get in my car right now and drive there in 14 hours, or I could take a fairly expensive two-hour flight. You are very close. Um, <laughs> just putting that out there. Anyway, this week I want to talk about signs and safety. It's kind of somewhat data related, but kind of not because like my parents were given this when they went in the gate at Yellowstone National Park. And if you want to take a look for a second at that picture there, that that that, that just that's what would happen to you if you go up to the buffalo. That's it's just a bad idea. <laughs> just made me laugh so hard. Like why anyone would think it's a good idea to go up and try and pet a buffalo. Oh no. But the thing is, to constitute giving out these flyers to every visitor to the park, that means somebody must have done it. I wonder about people sometimes. It's the same thing as the do not punch the llamas sign that went viral, or any time that you have a disposable coffee cup from a restaurant in general on the cup, it'll say caution the beverage inside here is very hot. The reason why things have to have signs like that is because somebody did that and some person, some reason, thought the coffee wasn't hot, burnt their tongue, and sued them. I don't understand people sometimes. Anyway, I don't know if you guys have anything to say on this subject, but if you do, please feel free to throw it in the ring. Uh, nothing else too, too much going on with me at the moment. I'm going up to the city tomorrow to see Mary Poppins, the Broadway tour, so I'm really excited about that. I'm looking forward to it. It's one of the shows that kind of inspired me to go into this field. Um, I saw it in New York in 2008, and it was quite life-changing, so really looking forward to that. Still trying to keep the video short because my internet here is really, really slow. I uh, hope you guys are all doing well, and we'll see you all next week. Uh, it's Sam. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.